Hi everyone, I'm Miss Johnson and I want to welcome you to our 2016-2017 school year. I'm so excited to have everyone in second grade this year. I know some of you know me from first grade last year. Um, I've been at Loma Vista for four years now, I believe. Um, so we're doing a flipped instruction model for back to school night where I'm going to go over like the meaty stuff um, so you guys can watch it at home. And then the more important things that I really want to be able to talk about at back to school night where you may have some questions, we will talk about then. So we're going to start off by talking about our PBIS expectations. They're school wide. So over here you can see that it talks about the different areas for the school and then how students are kind, safe, and responsible. We just had our big kickoff this week on Thursday and Friday, so students may be um, coming home talking about that. So these are just the things that they can do throughout the day to show that they're having cougarific behavior. And here's the volume of their voice they should be having. In our class, we will be doing um, Class Dojo. I used it last year and had great success. Um, there is a free app as well as you can access it online. You will all be getting um, the directions for that at Back to School Night and I will go in depth about how it works and the different things that um, students can use and receive by having their behavior through the dojo system. Now if a student is not following some of those expectations that were on the behavior matrix, they may get a think sheet and that's just like, oops, I need to think about what I did so that they can think about it and make a better choice next time. If the behavior is a little more severe, they'll get a minor slip and then this copy will go home to you, the white copy goes home, and you will need to return it the next day signed. Um, and sometimes they will lose um, an opportunity that they would normally have. Um, and sometimes it's also just to kind of have them also think about it as well. Now if they have three minor slips and or the behavior warrants a major, then you'll get one of the big papers, which hopefully no one will see one of those this year. And now on to homework. Um, in second grade, we're going to be doing a reading menu. We're going to start the year off with this. We're going to try it out and see how it works and how it meets the needs of our students. We're going to be differentiating homework throughout the year. So there will be different types of homework for different students depending upon their needs. Some students may have math homework because they're needing a little extra help in math or needing to be challenged. And other students may have different types of reading. Um, but every night they are to read 20 minutes every night no matter what and then they can choose three of these to make a tic-tac-toe and on the back they'll have these three boxes to fill out. One night they don't have to do an activity, they can just read. And then we're going to move on to birthdays. So birthdays are super exciting and very special for everybody but due to the Tustin Unified School District wellness policy we're no longer able to do big parties and cupcakes and all those special lovely treats that everyone loves so much. But here is a list of things that you can do in place of those to help celebrate and make your child feel special. And we also do a monthly book order through Scholastic which helps us to get some books for our classroom as well as um, allows you to get books for your student at their correct level during um, the school year for their Fontes and Pinnell reading level which they'll be aware of throughout the whole entire year. Here's the different levels, and in the Scholastic um, catalogs, when you get them, it also will say the uh, level in there for you. Another thing that we were going to touch on is dropping off and picking up. Now, every morning there is breakfast, so if you're coming for breakfast, um, students are allowed on campus at 7.50. If you're not coming for breakfast, you are allowed on campus at 8 o'clock. Everyone is to be waiting over at the lunch tables until the bell rings and they may come over to their classroom. Now as far as dropping off and parking and all those good fun things, teachers are on duty in the back parking lot as well as the front parking lot. Now when you enter the back parking lot, you go this way, you drop off here, and you continue out this way. There is no parking on this side of the cones and no driving through this way. As well as the front, there is no parking in the front parking lot. You may park on the street or in the neighborhood over here. The teachers are out there directing to help with that, but also more importantly to keep students safe. So we're not trying to be rude. We're just trying to make sure that all the students are safe because that is our main priority. 
There are many ways to help out on campus. Joining the PTO is very helpful and there's so many cool things that they do throughout the year to help support us in our classrooms. They are amazing, so thank you to them. Um, information will go home about that where you can join. And there are also opportunities to volunteer throughout the year. There's like, if you want to volunteer in the classroom, book fair, garden, cougar trek, dino dash, carnival art masters, I'm sure there's some others. There will be a sign up at back to school night where you can uh, sign up for that information and get more information, sorry. Also the dollar a day fundraiser will be coming back. That information will be going home I'm not sure when it's going home. It'll be going home soon. Um, for those of you that were here last year, you know about it, and those of you who are not will receive that information. Most of the information is going to go home on Fridays. If it's very important information, I will make sure to not send it home on Fridays because that's when you're usually flooded with papers. And also, any important notes that are going to come home will come home on a turquoise paper. And another fundraising opportunity for our school is Dino Dash and for the Tustin Public School Foundation. We are so um, honored to have them. They help pay for lots of things for our school district and our school. Uh, this link you can go to to find out some more information and Dino Dash is on November 6th this year. Conference week is going to be the week of October 10th through the 14th. Well, just to give you those dates ahead of time, in case you want to look at your calendar, I'll have a sign-up sheet out for that on Back to School Night as well. Um, there will be some mornings and afternoons. I do have duty Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday morning, so that is a little bit more limited unless you're an early bird. And then uh, we can work around schedules and whatnot for that. So that is all for the flipped instruction part of the Back to School Night. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can always email me or ask them when you come. Like I said, we will be going over the behavior systems and homework at Back to School Night. This was just to get all the information out to you so you can listen to it at your leisure so I don't have to go over that while we're here when there's other things that we can talk about and discuss. I am so excited for this school year and looking forward to working with all of you and helping your scholars learn and grow. Have a great day!